Hi there. Now suppose I take two cones, as you see here, and then cut them with a horizontal plane, which is parallel to the base of the cones. Then what we generate is a conic section. This particular conic section is a circle. Now we can create other conic sections just by varying the angle of the plane. If I take that plane and incline it at an angle, something like this, then this time the conic section that we generate is that of an ellipse. And if I just move this round, say something like this, and this time take the plane and move it so that it is parallel to the edge of the cone, then this time the conic section we generate is that of a parabola. And you'll notice the curve tends towards the edges of the cone. And if I take the plane, and this time position that plane in a vertical sense, let's just angle it like so, it cuts through both cones. And if I just move it back, the section that we get now is that of a hyperbola. If I just move it so that we view it side on, there's our hyperbola, okay? Where the curve approaches the edges of the cone. So they are our conic sections. So in summary then, we get a circular cross section when the plane is parallel to the base of the cone incline that plane at a slight angle and then we generate an ellipse as the cross section. When the plane is parallel to the edge of the cone we end up with a parabola and then when we put the plane in the vertical position we end up with a hyperbola.